pictures or whatever you want to have a And I want to warn you, if you watch the lens too long, you'll start thinking they're going around in circles yourself, so be careful. <laughs> oh, they're just going to let you go up there and look? Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyway, this is a French lens that came from over in France. It was made in 1890. This lens here is 9 feet 7 inches tall, 6 foot 2 inches across the center. It has 616 pieces of prism glass in it and 24 bullseyes and weighs over 4,000 pounds. Wow. Um, and to make that red tint in that glass, what they did is they actually put gold in there to make it give it that red tint. I wondered how they did that. And when they, and when they did do that, they found out it actually made the glass stronger. So. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Whenever it was now all we have is this little three-quarter horse electric thing that's doing all the heavy work in the gears here and up in here. I don't know if any of you down here can see this big white curtain up in here. Well, if this is the start during the daytime when it's sun shining for more than an hour, they have to come out and pull that curtain around the outside of that lens because it works as a magnifying glass only in reverse, so it'll burn up all that power oh, in the inside. Oh, so. wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. You see the ocean right from here again, Look at that. That's a good shot. Mm -hmm. uh, well, in some of the bigger cities on the sidewalks exactly. are seeing this kind of glass here. Yes. Well, they, it's Put actually ground, so when the light comes down through it on the opposite side, it makes the light 2% brighter, so it makes more illumination down here. So, so this, that piece right there, that, that shaft, that's got teeth in it at the top, and that's what's yeah, engaging the big ring on... Mm -hmm. It starts here with these gears. This is just, this big right. part here is a balance. There's all this, it balances so it don't sway. And then there's gears up in that bucket up Yeah, and you can put the oh, sorry, bottom of the lens is yeah. got And up on one of those gears on the top, when it comes around, it has a zero with a slash under it. So say the White House keeper wanted to make sure it was staying in sync, he would have his watch on it and let it go around one whole turn and have it match up with two minutes to make sure it stays in sync. Very cool. And if you look right up in the top, oh, yeah, you can see the wheels home. That they can open and close to let the air go faster or slower up through there. So oh. that matches up with that red ball on the outside. Stop the lens from turning. Mm -hmm. 
it was set up so it could be cranked and still keep going. So, but you but, can see where they trimmed out a portion of the steel to let yeah, it. You can see where they trimmed, trimmed and fell on this floor down there. So this one broke a few times and hit the floor. You can see where they repatched the flooring down there. But this one here traveled at 37 feet in 72 minutes. And that's it. They didn't, they didn't trim anything else out. Huh. Hmm. So. I don't know who let him trim that out of it either. That should be a good one to find out. But I mean, you can see where they yeah. I know. They that. That one out. Yeah. I'd like to know who authorized them to do that one. Maybe they thought about doing it and stopped. Yeah, there you go. Dad can make up stories too. There you go. <laughs> it's going to be, you know, take that yep. That's the way to do it. Anyway, if we're ready, let's just grab the handbell and he's on down. I'm last. You're last, okay. If I fall on you, Butch, I'm sorry. Go out the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, that ain't happening. 